Welcome to the island on St. Augustine Road. Chef Richard Robinson brought Caribbean fusion to the area to educate and light up taste buds with his restaurant, Pink Salt. After years of catering in the hotel world, Richard decided to embark on a new path. He moved to Jacksonville for his mother's health and named the restaurant after Himalayan Pink Salt for its redemptive health aspects after his sister was diagnosed with cancer. He talked about introducing newbies to Caribbean food. When you say Caribbean, people are like, um, so what do you have? What do you sell? You know, you have to let people be convinced of what you're selling or else they won't buy it, you know. So, you know, they're like, okay, I've never had oxtail. What is it? Well, it's beef and it's delicious. I grew up with my mom's version, but Richard put his foot in his after infusing Caribbean spices, which is what makes up the fusion of the restaurant. Many of the dishes are traditional from the islands individually, but mixing the flavors from each island in one dish, fusion. Richard shares what he hopes people take away from the pink salt dining experience. The atmosphere, <laughs> uh, the food, just the hospitality. We want, them, we want it to be memorable when you you come in, you remember the service and the food. And just feel like you're at home. You feel like you're in somebody's kitchen and, or somebody's home and you're just having a good home cooked meal. The pink salt menu is wide and varied, from meats to vegetarian, coffee, juice blends, and more. So believe I was more than stoked to dive into the island vibe. I like your description of fusion, because like you said, most people will think Caribbean, Jamaican, but we're going outside of that. I mentioned my mama's oxtails earlier. Hers were tasty, but big and fatty. Chef Richard's style is lean and packed with flavor. He adds spices, including this special secret blend. He lets them cook down, then pours the fat into another pan for veggie spice infusion and adds jerk spice. He pours the mix over rice and peas and... These are like little... Jewel oxtail, aren't they so cute? <laughs> oh my God, look at that. So tender, the meat falls off the bone. You gotta mix it, what'd you, you tell me the rice was? Rice and peas. Rice and peas. Ranch says yes please. <laughs> oh my goodness. This meat is so tender, it's like melting, it's butter. This kale salad. You can actually dress it up with like chicken and shrimp. You can add a protein to it. Uh, we give people the choice of chicken and shrimp if they want to add a protein to it. Um, the vinaigrette is a house-made vinaigrette. You know, a little house-made, a little yummy. What flavor is that? So it's a balsamic fig. I've never had balsamic salmic fig dressing before. All right. That is really tasty. Good. Good, good, good. Nikhil, super crisp, because you know a lot of places you go, sometimes it's a little soft, but this is super crisp. Hailing from Texas, I have feasted on cabrito. That's goat in Spanish. Curry goat, Jamaican style, new experience. The goat is seasoned for two days, slow cooked with the island spices. Hailing from Texas, I have feasted on cabrito. That's goat in Spanish. Curry goat, Jamaican style, new experience. The goat is seasoned for two days, then slow cooked with island spices on a stove top, not a pressure cooker. Then chef pours a curry goat over jasmine rice, carrots, and potatoes. Oh, and survey says? So much yummy, man. So much yummy. Knock it out, chef. This yeah. What like to do. Yeah. If we were in Jamaica, what would, would we say to cheer? <laughs> wicked. This is wicked people. Wicked people. Pink salt doing some wicked things over here. Oh my god. Share? No. I know I got a lot. I'm not sharing with you. You gotta come check it out yourself. Check it out. I'm Rance Adams for River City Live. Pink Salt is located on 6082 St. Augustine Road. Find out more and check out their menu at pinksaltrestaurant.com. Mark?